Good morning. We're um, exploring some old mines today. I was going to look for some mullock heaps to have a test pan and maybe run with me high banker. So if you look down here, hope I don't disappear into the mud. We've got an old mine. Looks in pretty good nick. I can see the quartz that we've dug out of here. Oh. I'm not going to go in, it doesn't look too stable. In fact, it's collapsed. Look, I don't know if you can see just down there, part of that wall's collapsed out. It looks like a cut, they've just cut straight through that way. Oh, it's mine number one we found. Had to walk down the track to find this one. Don't have a full drive going. It's at home. Amazing, really. I wonder, it doesn't even look like that. Well, it doesn't look like an old, old mine. Right, we'll keep looking around and see what else we can find. Just on the other side of that mine, I found the. Um, the tailings pile and good lord it's big it's amazing actually you see all those big rocks there's right down to that tree stump at least not a bad spot there's a big hole down here too right, keep going here yeah. that's the entrance to the mine over there and what I've just found is the old tracks. Is there one there, one there? One's right through there. I might even try to follow them down. See what's down the other end. Here's the, um, the end of those tracks. And it's down into the Great Abyss. Whoa! I don't know if you can even see how far it is down there. Pretty crazy. Oh, all these must be tailings. And they've just built it up as they've gone along. Well, I am. Um, I walked all the way down the end of that track with the mine. Down there, that's the Tangerine River. I'm not sure what this one is. You're not allowed to pan in the tangle, but I'm pretty sure there's no restrictions on the tributaries. Might have a bit of a wander around. Looks like a good spot. But I imagine a heap of people would have tried through here. Cool, I'll, have a, I'll just have a little pan here and see what's in there. So I've um, started panning this little tributary have a look, I was just digging out underneath this rock. Have a look at that! It's a monster! What's worse is I, I, I just was more exploring today. No snuff about it, no nothing. All I've got is a pan, bucket and a screen. I'm going to have to think of something inventive because I want to keep digging out that hole. Well, that's a beautiful, beautiful chunk. Sure, you get a better picture of it. But with that, there was only that and one speck. But not bad for a few shovels full. So I'll clean that right out and we'll see what we get. But uh, this is an amazing little spot. I can't even tell you how amazing it is. Runs off down there into the big river. And you can see, look, I'm right there. There's a quartz vein right there. An old broken down one. And there's a lot of mining activity here in the late 1800s, right up to the 70s. Well, they used to have the Tanta River down there, they used to um, dredge that. I have one with this spot. Well, you can see a quartz vein running right through that rock there. It's bloody hard to get to, so you'd have to be pretty dedicated. But a good little spot to bring a sluice down, which of course I didn't bring down. But yes, it is up in the car. <laughs> but I'm 
I've got one trip up there in me and that's it. I won't be coming back down. It's probably easier with a full drive you can get a lot further away the down. So I'll keep going and see how we go. Here's a bit of ingenuity from a little picker there. I'll put him in the back of my phone. Let's hope he stays there. Necessity is the mother of all invention, as they say. <laughs> oh, no, I've made a decision. I've just done another shovelful. And there's another big chunk. I'm digging out, but I just can't get in there with my hand. We've had a lot of bad weather in the last week, so... Probably having a little bit of snow melt mixed in here. I'm pretty, the elevation be right. This water's freezing. I'm just sticking my hand in there to get it out. So I think I'm just going to come back tomorrow and bring the power sluice down and spend the day doing it properly, get the sucker pump out. I can't believe how chunky it is. I've got 10 minutes work. So I'll put him in my phone <laughs> and we'll come back tomorrow and run a decent amount of material as long as I make it back up that bloody hill I might have a heart attack and you'll never hear of me again alright, bye oh, just uh, climbed up this hill I don't know you can tell by that how steep the hill is, still going still going how steep this hill is and they say gold is where you find it I'm not sure Oh, I had to find it all the way down there. I got all the way out there, probably another kilometre to go. <sighs> it's cold air, it's clearing out the lungs. <sighs> Let's hope this doesn't become my favourite spot. Oh, I'll be fit, I suppose. Alright, we'll keep going. Oh. I'm back at the car. That is the hardest thing I've ever done in my adult life. Oh, I can't catch my breath. I'm thinking that might... Well, I was really waiting until the, uh, the Jeep fixed and I'll bloody drive down there. The things we do for hobbies, huh? Ooh. Oh.